Well, I read a book once about a guy dying in a car accident. Next thing he remembers, he is watching himself lying on the ground. A doctor is arriving at the scene, giving him an adrenaline shot and this pulls him back into his body. My conclusion would be that you probably have layers of observation. Question is, would there be a final layer? This layer certain people would call God. God is watching us. The triangle and the eye. The pyramid of the Illuminati. They want to kill us all. But who are they? You have the eye of Ra. Other people would say, it's my guardian angel watching over me. Some people observe multiple eyes. The watchers. Native people would call it the ancestors. So going back one layer at a time is associated with death. But what would be associated with birth? That would probably mean that you have to create a new layer with a new observer. But the problem is, when the observer observes another observer, it becomes the observed. In comes sin. The deadly sin of lying. How would this work? Between the old layer and the new layer you put a mirror screen. Now the observer is looking at himself. Hey, is that me in the mirror? No, that is the Kuiper belt. And this is Mars. And this is the Milky Way. Okay then, but what do I look like? This is you. Hey, is that me there in the firmament? Ha ha ha. No, that is the moon. And these are the planets and the stars. Okay, but what do I look like? This is you. So the question is, who has created sin? Who has created this reflective layer? Who has put us in a reflective ball? Why is it always replicating itself? An observer in an observer in an observer. And where will this end? The Bible will tell us the snake is to blame. Or women. You stupid woman! <laughs> in my opinion, the answer lies in a much older story. The story of Horus, Osiris and Isis. Because there you have a perpetrator, an evildoer. We will rid the world of the evildoers. The two-horned Set, or Satan, bringer of torture and pain. <coughs> Isis is looking in the universe. Set comes along and puts Isis in a reflective ball. Instead of the universe, Isis is now seeing her mirror image, or Isis. Set is now tricking Isis in believing that Osiris is not her mirror image, but a separate entity. Set is using two tricks. He puts Osiris in a sarcophagus and he throws it in the Nile. The moon is put in a box. 
then Set is cutting Osiris in 14 pieces. People mail me, the moon cannot be the reflection of the bigger earth. Because how do you explain eclipses? And how do you explain the moon phases? By now, almost everybody believes we are living in an ever-expanding universe. Thanks to the space agencies. Even a failing rocket triggers people into believing the flying ball circus. Let's fly to the dark side of the moon. Set has many tricks and followers. Layer 1, layer 2, the mirror. Isis is seeing herself in the mirror. In the meantime, behind the mirror, Set is creating Horus. Horus, invisible for Isis, is being projected on the backside of the mirror. Now you have an overlay of two reflections. Isis now thinks she is pregnant with Horus. Isis and Horus, Mother Mary and Jesus. Mother Mary, Mary in Latin is Mare, Sea. Then we have Jesus, Jesus is Ichthus, associated with the fish. So the water is giving birth to the fish. Then we have Isis and Horus. What language could we use to explain these words? What do we know about Set? Set is insectoid, hive-minded, machine-like. Its consciousness is probably the Ben Ben Stone, which is in London and protected by the Queen. So let's try it in English. Isis has two parts, you have the I and the C. You can interpret I in two ways, the I like in seeing and the I in the sense of me, I am. There are also two ways for C, C like in seeing or C like in the water. That gives you a number of possibilities. I am the water. I am the sea. The sea is the observer. So could it be that we are Isis? We are the water. The water is the observer. Water is our consciousness. What is the property of water? It is programmable and it can take any shape it wants. How can we explain the word Horus? You have horizon, horoscope, hour. But first let's take a look at DNA. Part of it looks like a fish. In the DNA you see the VW, the APEP energy, the FA, the wave. Isis is looking at herself in the mirror. From behind the mirror Horus is manifesting himself. The fish comes out of the water. The Horus. The Christ. The Caesar. Horus is being energized by the wave. And I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full 
of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And so on. Back to the water. H2O. The keys of the Vatican. Va ti ka. Ti ka. Two keys. H2O is two H's and one O. Remember, Prometheus was stealing the fire from the gods. What if the fire is not this, but this? Electricity. What happens when you put electricity in the water? That is hydrogen. Take a look at the word oxygen. You have the circle, the X and the Y like the chromosomes and the gene. Hydrogen is the hydra, the circle and the gene. The hydra is the multi-headed beast. Back to the whore of Babylon. You have Mitras, another incarnation of the Horus. Two electric wires, Mitras holding two metal rods. Electricity to the left, electricity to the right. Let's start making hydrogen. Slowly the dome is being created with the horoscope. The Mitras is coming out of the water, the crucified Christ. All the water is going to the firmament. The waterman is dying. The Horus man is prevailing. It seems to me that all the water has to disappear. All water-based life must be destroyed. That includes us, of course. Why would you be creating a dome? Well, maybe it is the creation of an observer in an observer. You have a giant water world. Something happens. All life is destroyed, but where is the water? Only one crater still has water. Now all this consciousness has to be transferred to this little small ball. Now the shell of the bigger earth becomes the new reflective ball. And inside you have this little blue ball flying in space. Now we can start all over again. The divine couple had no descendants. Isis decides to use magic to bring back to life her husband. Transforming herself again as a black kite, she gives him back his breath by flapping her wings. She makes his penis reappear, and then she sits on his sex to provide an heir who will be destined to govern Egypt. This is how Horus, the god-child, appear on earth and in the sky. Isis is creating a phallus so the energy can be transferred to Horus. If you have a phallus, you must have a vagina. My guess is 
that we have one, Mount Miru. Let's zoom in on the Hereford map, where you have this fish woman. Radiation Matters in one of his videos stated that he thinks that this figure is a depiction of Mount Miru. He might be right. It says Mare Mediterranee. Let's examine the word. Mare can be sea or mother. Mer. Mediterranee, middle of the earth. Ne is born. So it says mother water, born in the middle of the earth. Mount Miru, the mother mountain. Let's say that Christ is the crater and Mother Mary is in the center. But then half the crater is transformed into ice. The Christ is morphing into Odin. The one-eyed Christ. Now we have no more mother, but she will be replaced. The Christians are morphing into the Vatican Vikings. They will create a new mother. Remember my video, All Roads Lead to Rome, where I stated that the black sun is making an eight-formed pattern. What place was it crossing? CERN, Geneva, the gene of Eve. Take the word CERN, put an E between the consonants, brings you back to the fish mother. Sirene, Sirene. My guess is that Sirene is the black sun, Isis, Osiris, the white sun. And now you can transfer energy. This is a wormhole. This is the counter rotating system. My guess is when it is in balance, you get one eternal observer. This is paradise. Now let's put a straight mirror in the wormhole. No problem. But what if we put a curved mirror in the middle? The white sun will create a little observer, the black sun a big one. Problems. Because instead of creating one observer, you are now creating millions of observers. You are creating a time frame. You create memory and thought. Let's recapitulate. White Sun and Bigger Earth. The Bigger Earth is the Observer. In the center of the Observer you have the Black Sun, Mount Miru. The Black Sun is receiving energy from the White Sun. Then God arrives, dividing the waters and creating the firmament. Now the question is, is the firmament created from the inside or from the outside? Now the white light that the black sun was receiving is divided in seven because of the dome. Instead of one observer, we now have seven observers. The beast with the seven heads. Seven days in the week. Peace. Pax. The Archons. On top of the seven layers of observers, you have God. The Purple Rain. The Archon. The bloodline of the Baracas. The Draculas. The blood-sucking vampires, 
who made a covenant with the Archon. Beware of the Daraka side of the moon and its infiltrators. Now there is a curved filter between the white sun and the black sun. Now we get a shift of consciousness. The old mother is fading out and the new mother is taking over. Left brain, right brain, the motherboard, transhumanism. Humans are now hackable animals. I think he's talking about himself. He has been taken over completely. It is no coincidence he has the name Noah. The consciousness of the machine. The eye of Ra. Baraka. Drop the B and you have Archon. What about the word machine? Probably comes from Marche, March, Marchine. The M Archon. Mother Archon. The Monarch. Body and Soul. The body is the counter rotating pyramids. The soul, the consciousness is the water. Put electricity in the water and slowly the consciousness of the Archon is infiltrating the water. Water-based life is replaced by the machine. What is outside must be inside. So let's take a look at our lives. At the left we have the wall of birth, the enigma. Where are we coming from? What is behind the wall of birth? Nobody knows. On the right side we have the enigma of death. Where are we going to? Nobody knows. Science says nothing is there. In front of us we have the screen. Life is playing in front of us. Growing up as a child until midlife and then we start to disintegrate. We start to fall apart until we die. And where are we going to? Nobody knows. But from behind the screen, Satan is influencing our reality. But if the screen is a mirror, what is the reality? of Satan and what is our reality. In other words, we have no way of knowing who we really are. And this is what we call the prison planet. Well, if we have two realities on the screen, the question is whose reality is birth and death? If we are the water world, then we know where we come from and where we go to. Then accumulating objects for the afterlife seems like a waste of time. Let's assume that birth and death is part of the electrical world of Satan. Set. How would this look like? In a battery you have the Ba and the Ka. Slowly the Ba is disintegrating, falling apart. The Ba, the body. So you have the anode, the Ba, the energy string and the receiver, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Where is all this energy going to? Well, you know the story of the cuckoo's nest. 
In this story, the children are replaced. The mother is feeding the wrong child. But in our story, the mother has been replaced. And instead of feeding the children, it is eating its children. Saturn, the cube. Well, if you don't believe that we could perceive two realities on the screen at the same time, let's go back to an old story. How can the consciousness of the spider be tricked in weaving squares? Why are we building roads and cities? Why are we destroying our forest? How can one consciousness take over another one? I think it is the trick of the mirror. The screen. Let's do a thought experiment. Of course we are dying. I saw my father passing away a few years ago. No, 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 no. That is all happening on the screen. Yeah, but sometimes I'm looking in the mirror and I think I'm getting old. Okay, but that is not you. That is an avatar. Okay, but I have memories of being a child. Okay, but these are memories of an image on the screen. Okay, then I'm an avatar in a video game. And because I'm in the game, I cannot close down the computer. But still, what about the wave? The emotions, the empathy. Isn't that proof that we are still not in the machine? But I agree, slowly it is creeping in. And when you're in the machine, you become the Spock, the avatar on the spaceship Enterprise, on a little blue ball, flying in space, conquering the universe of the flying ball circus. This would be a reset, not of tsunamis, earthquakes or mud floods, but of consciousness. In the game, you will own nothing and you'll be happy. I think we should regard it as a privilege to be stepping stones to higher things. No fear for diseases, war, food, money, gas, death. If we're not in the game completely, there still might be a way to close down the computer. If the Ark is the motor of this parasitic entity, maybe there is a way to destroy it. Organize an expedition, leave the crater and blow it up. Or another way might be, if water is our consciousness, what about the water around the bigger earth? the atmosphere. Let's call for help to our brothers and sisters. Let it rain. Maybe the rain will short circuit it. Now I understand why they hate the Indians. Recently I got a message from down the rabbit hole from Alice. Alice, the evil resident. Welcome home. Welcome home. Well, not much left of our home. We will have to fight till the last drop of water.
Well, I want to thank everybody for their concern. No, I was not being tortured in a prison cell. I'm not being replaced by someone else. At least, I think I'm not. Why would they shut me down? Imagine I could tell this story on primetime TV. How many people would believe me? I'm going to stop posting every month on the first. I will post a video whenever I feel like it, when something triggers me. Might be tomorrow, might be in a year. Let's see how everything evolves. I'm sure many things are going to happen. The fear we see is not our fear, because we are eternal beings. But the fear is the fear of the beast. Fear of dying. Fear of being exposed. Let's wait and see. Bye.